Good morning, friends. So, as you saw, we had homemade iced coffee, sugar-free. How I made that? Two teaspoons of instant coffee and just one equal tablet, which I think is equivalent to two teaspoons of sugar, is what the packaging says. But when you have real sugar compared to that, it's definitely not as sweet. Um, but if you obviously want regular sugar, just use regular sugar. Bit of hot water, bit of milk, ice, and then I like to slowly pour the milk just to get that like a nice effect. So good. And then we made Cuesta grilled cheese. I've made been making this grilled cheese for a few weeks now. We've been obsessed with using the barbecue. We make it on the barbecue and having like oil and salt and pepper and garlic powder on one side and just like the oil get nice and crispy and the bread is like oh so good. Except that's we've been doing it just regular grilled cheese. It was my first time using pesto and adding tomato and oh my god it was so good. It was so good. So if you like grilled cheese definitely recommend that. I now got a pot on with chicken breast. I got four chicken breasts and two chicken tenderloins. I'm just going to get that to simmer for probably about, I don't know, 20 minutes. One of the chicken breasts is actually quite big. So about 20, 25 minutes to simmer, to get it cooked. And then once it cools, we will shred it and that's gonna be for dinner tonight, which is gonna to be nachos. I probably won't end up filming the nachos or, yeah, no, I won't because I'm gonna try and get this video also edited and uploaded on the same day today. So, um, yeah, I'll show you guys when I assemble the nachos, but actually cooking it process that won't be done till later tonight so we got chicken breast on for that and then leftover chicken breast because that's obviously way too much for nachos for nick and i is i'm going to freeze in individual baggies and we'll have that in the freezer so then when we want salad for lunch and i've got to get salad prep so there's a few little tasks still to do in the kitchen but what i want to do now is get outside plant these tomato plants that i brought a week ago um they're honestly not looking too good so i really do hope that they survive but i prefer to get them in the ground now and just see just see how they go so i'll keep my eye on this this will be fine we'll go outside we'll get some tomato stuff on there's some seeds i want to sow um but yeah it's gonna be a good day but before we get on to our projects there's a few things that's kind of new and this exciting garden that i want to show you guys so first of all we'll do the seeds that are sowed the cosmos and the sunflowers so the cosmos the stems are quite like lanky i do want to push this mulch back just to cover that carpet line and just so they have some mulch that's obviously a little weird here but yeah so that's fun sunflowers i mean it's a bit hard i'm assuming this is a sunflower same with this and i'm assuming these pieces are weeds <laughs> But like, look at all this as well. Like, that's not, that wouldn't be the sunflower. I'm assuming that's a weed. I don't know. I hope these aren't weeds, but see how that's got a dark stem? And same as this one. See, and like this, I don't know. Because what if these are weeds and that's the actual sunflower? So I don't want to rip that up. But otherwise, along this whole strip, that's pretty much it. Nothing else have sprouted got more cosmos here and they pretty much just look the same we have a dwarf tomato that's why i decided to pop it in a pot so it's a dwarf tomato plant it's got flower buds happening here which is exciting um I feel like the background's getting more focused on what this is. But this is your dwarf tomato. I really do need to get mulch. I'm going to get mulch today. That's why I left quite a gap here as well with the soil line. It needs mulch. Um, but it's your chocolate, Tasmanian chocolate dwarf tomato. So that supposedly is going to be like a beefsteak style tomato. Medium sized fruit. So I think it's a little bit smaller than a, what a traditional beefsteak is. Um, and it has that chocolate brown blush to the tomato, so that's really exciting. And then right next to it, this is all the spinach, by the way. That's all that I have to clear out those pots. Um, that's the leeks, but right next to it here, we got the zucchini bed. That poor little one's struggling, but it's still going. We've lost two plants there, which I'm kind of glad this one 
is gone because that would have been way too close to this tomato plant um, but I might just direct sow a seed there and maybe another one up here just to fill it up some more but the main thing I want to show is the first flower so that is so cool this flower is actually quite unique so this is I believe the golden variety zucchini and it's got like a double I don't want to break it but it's got like a double flower head on one stem so it's just that one stem here I've never seen that before I don't know if that's a normal thing for this kind of variety or not you can see all these other flower buds and this isn't the only one that has flower buds like most of them do especially this one this one's the most biggest plant and you can see they got nice flower buds this one's your typical green skin zucchini so in the end we are down one we're down three completely so these two and one there I do believe that one's gonna go so we got I planted four green skins which is those two and these two so we're down to two these two go oh no these three golden oh no gold no wait no it's golden two golden two gold rush two Lebanese yeah something like that these are the tomatoes we want to get in the ground today so these are super roma tomatoes i wanted the san marzano well that's one growing by seed i don't think my seed tomatoes are gonna work this year but so i picked up four of these um yeah they're just they're just not looking too crush hot but we'll get them in the ground and that's gonna go in this back strip So my thought process tomatoes here this we're gonna get this black edging I got to fix it up there we still need to fill it finish it right around um, so I don't want it to right close to the edge because it's obviously gonna bush out I mean it can go over but also the fact it's not here yet I realistically should do that first but I'm not going to so yeah I don't want to right to the edge and then I want plenty of space at the front here for um, peppers well capsicums and chilies and things so we're gonna do an arch here with a pave so we can walk in walk into the grass but I don't think we're gonna do a pave outside because along here on the opposite side we're gonna have a walkway so then we can come out and then a walkway behind as well so there's a lot of things envisioning for what's going to happen in the free future and work around that. So it looks a little, little random, but yeah. Um, this is, oh, I can snap it. I did try to snap it out. See, that's still fresh. So that's going to come back up again. This is one of my worries is this root is so invasive. This is the wild tobacco plant or the root from it it's awful absolutely awful that was still fresh so i feel like when i watered this tomato the water in here is going to like come back up the roots probably all it is ever it's popped up absolutely everywhere um here is another part of the root oh gosh it's so tough but yeah hopefully whoo scare the crap out of me it's pretty butterfly but <laughs> um so yeah, this plant is a little bit further back. You can see that's kind of in line. This one's back just because that root was right there. But it should be fine. It is damn hot today. So before I actually start, I'm going to go chuck my hair up, get a drink. Whew.
it is hot and flies my goodness okay a couple more things i got sidetracked i was showing you guys some things that was exciting there's a couple more things i want to show you guys so daisies look how full of blooms these daisies are still gonna well i did deadhead them a couple of days ago but look at them and like the fresh new ones and oh it's absolutely beautiful so many buds still there is yeah there is a patch of spray mainly all the dead ones were but how beautiful uh, this apricot tree is growing i really was unsure about this but it's got some green there it's got its first bloom look how beautiful so pretty um and it's also just another little red bud so that's going to be a flower i believe so this red bud here it's get growing from the top this is new actually i, did, I haven't noticed this part Whew. so yeah beautiful so very happy that the apricot tree is doing something and oh look at that i didn't need a we need a this is crazy you can tell the leaves that are prune that's new leaves last year compared to at the top hi 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 <laughs> all right i'm gonna take the chicken off the stove while that cools we're gonna pop out get some mulch and then we'll come back and mulch <laughs> um i haven't wooded in the tomatoes either this is like right in the middle of the day they should be fine for a couple of hours until i come back i'll get mulch and then we'll water it all at the same time um and then yeah, and then I want to plant some seeds, just a couple zucchinis, I don't know what variety. I know I'll do another green skin, because we only got two, and that's like your traditional zucchini, that's one I know we're going to like. I'm not going to worry about the golden, because we've got two growing, the gold rush, we've got two growing. So we've got four orange type zucchinis, um, we got two Lebanese, so maybe, well, two Lebanese, one of them, I don't think it's going to make it. And lemonies, that was the, out of the new varieties, that was the one I was most excited to try. So maybe a green skin and a lemonies, or do, just do two green skins. Don't know. So I'll think about that. Either way, we'll get that done. And then on this side, I still got to fill in the purple, purple king beans. So we'll do some more of that. I don't even know, can you guys see me? Oh yeah, you can. I thought I was just a black shadow, but yeah. Turn off the chicken. And while we're out, that will cool come back out, finish our projects, give everything a nice water, and then we'll assemble dinner. And then, that's done. <laughs> All right, so I'm back from the garden center. I got organic sugar cane mulch, covers up to 10 meters squared, apparently, so we'll see how that goes. I just mainly want to mulch around the plants that I have already. And then we'll fill in. So like in between the zucchinis, we'll fill in and things like that. But mainly just around the bases of the plants or in the pots as well. And I used to get some plants. <laughs> so excuse this mess. I haven't cleaned up from when I repotted my other things. Now I got, that's a chili, which is, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's doing okay. That stick there is um, a capsicum. I can't remember the variety, but it ain't doing too good. So we got a capsicum this one's a little leany though but that's okay i got some steaks this is california wonder i know that capsicum there wasn't the same but this is the same variety as the seeds that i've started indoors but obviously the seeds i've started indoors are like this big they're so tiny so hopefully this this is, will be good um it's much more established than what that one was when i brought that in yeah so that's that and then in my pots over here we got little birds enjoying the bird bath in that pot here with the trellis um i want to do cucumbers so i wanted lebanese cucumbers that's what i started from seed they worked from indoors when i transplanted them they're not doing too good so this one comes with three i'm just gonna have to try and separate them but we got baby or bb or whatever that's called which is a lebanese type so they're just small 
small cucumbers. So we'll see how they go. And again, these are much more established than what my seedlings ever became. And this I thought was interesting, which I never knew was a thing, but it's a bush crop cucumber. So it's just a, yeah, just a bush. So I'm gonna put that in the miscellaneous somewhere in the front. I'm not exactly too sure. Or maybe, maybe even there instead of a zucchini. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I got three, oh no, I got four of these ones. So I definitely do wanna plant them all. I do have that mound of dirt here. I can even, this is my garlic by the way. That was the tubs that I had with the garlic. They just didn't work. So I typed it out, cause the soil is still fine. I just need to pull up this grass that's kind of spilt and yeah. Um, But now we're gonna get these planted, mulch everything. It should be good. So as you can see, the roots, I mean, they're nice and soft. They've just been freshly thinned. This isn't root bound because they're very loose. They're not tight, but it's just separating the three plants. Might, well, it's gonna damage some roots, but I think that, I think it should be okay. And I mean, obviously I do have my own cucumber seeds. I attempted it, it just didn't work. But I am saving these pots and they're gonna be handy in future years when I do do seed starting and hopefully I'll be more successful to up pot things. And yeah, I just got handy pots. So it's okay. <laughs> So this is the chili, which is fine. This is the other capsicum, which is not fine. <laughs> um, I, uh, I would have planted out here, but I do have beetroot seedlings and also parsnips. I don't think the parsnips gonna work though. Here I got onions. I mean, I could, could do one over here, more in that corner. Oh wait, what am I doing? The capsicum. I only got one capsicum. I will do that. That's where it will go. I'll pop it there. And again, now that these ones are gone. This was the zucchini. I just got a couple of weeds. Um, and same with the zucchini. I am actually glad because this is too close otherwise. Um, yeah. So I think, because we still got that one. Yeah, I might just plant it here, the capsicum. Hopefully that capsicum performs. If not, I can just still replace it. But it's, it's very random, but it's kind of flows, which I like.
Okay, this one's stuck in here. <laughs> there was a spider in that hole. Ooh, I got a heapy doobies. There was a spider in that hole that I was digging up, so. Let's hope this one survives until tomorrow when <laughs> we'll get Nick to assist. He's not home with that work. Oh. Ooh, I hate that. What do I do now? I still gotta go over the wall. Okay. All right, so this is my mix pot. This is the one that needs the mulch the best, the most. So we got some basil. Everything's grown by seed except for this basil. Um, oh no. So we got some spinach, some coriander. Spinach is under the silver beet. There's another spinach, basil. This is the, obviously the first coriander that popped up. And then this seed was sown after. And it finally popped up. I got another coriander here. This is kind of empty, this space, but I'm hoping this kind of bushes out. It should. I'm even tempted to plant a sunflower seed right in the middle and just to see if that will come up with that flower. Oh, should we do that? We're going to do that. But first, mulch. So I'm opening it upside down because it's already a hole. And to be honest, I've never mulched anything in my life. this stuff so light I'm assuming it would need watered straight away I was originally going to go and mulch everything but I don't want the wind to blow it away so just do one thing at a time What I should have done is, there is a lip this side of the pot, there's not on this side, so I should have probably removed some of that dirt, but I don't know. Does that look okay? I don't know. <laughs> so the pots up here are all mulched, I've watered in the cucumbers. The grass haven't get watered that will get watered later but you can see everything else is all watered i'm not going to mulch this area i'm just kind of out of energy tomatoes are all now watered in fruit trees are all watered but it's just so cool i love it and there's actually only a zucchini flower so i'll walk back up this way i do think because now that's a capsicum as well that's where i was going to direct so a green skin zucchini but yeah it will be too close to tomato I do think I'm gonna do one more zucchini seed here which will be the green skin and then that will be it just so then at least I have three green skins then we'll have the so it'll be one two and the new one hopefully <laughs> green skin these four are two different types of uh, orange or yellow or orange zucchinis and then these two are Lebanese Oh, and I also put mulch on this tomato plant and watered it in. So I'm so excited for that. But, so this is the flower that I showed you earlier. And this green skin has a flower as well, which was not like that this morning. That's exciting. And even all in between the onions, all in, the whole area needs mulch. I'm also thinking... For in this middle here, I know I'm not going to plant anything, so I might even just get cardboard just to help suppress with the weeds and then put the mulch on top. But then I say I don't know if this mulch is pretty light, it might just all blow away. And this tomato plant is growing so fast. We've got oh, look, we've got little buds on here too. I mean, there has been 
multiple buds I think I brought it with some flower buds on but I've just been picking it off just to get the plant established but I'm pretty confident it can hold it up now I do need a new stake for it though but wow and yeah the new capsicum it just looks so much nicer than that <laughs> but otherwise I not I know I got a lot of mulching to do I think garden wise I'm done. I'm going to go inside and do the chicken. So today I'm going to end this video here. Um, chicken. I'm just, I mean, it's no rush. I still got a couple of hours until dinner. We do have dinner pretty late. That's probably why I kind of haven't been doing, I'm just going to set the camera there. Oh, so this is an awful thing on my phone. My eyes just look black. But I haven't really been cooking much. I mean... I do do that for a If I make a day of it, I cook. I guess that's just what I do. I prep and then I don't really make actual meals. But I just I do miss that. Filming wise, I miss sharing food. Um, but also the lighting is just it's not the best when it goes like this. But the nachos, I will show you guys. So. It's just Nick and I, we're not going to have a whole bag, but it's just so we have a variety. So we've got the chili and lime. These are absolutely delicious. We haven't made these nachos with these actual chips. We used to always just do Doritos, but these are good. And we haven't tried this, but to be honest, this is the only flavor of this, like the Mish brands. You can find them in the Mexican, like international section as well. Um, and then this one is cheesy nachos. So we're just going to have a combination of both chips. We've got the chicken that I still need to shred up and separate. So chicken. We'll use all the rest of the chicken. I will put in small freezer bags, data in the freezer. So then tomorrow, maybe tonight actually, because tomorrow I could benefit from eating it, which will be salad. And then we can just take out a bag of chicken, pre-cooked shredded chicken, small enough, perfect for individual salads. Cause just cause I feel like it and it might not, but everything will be prepped and ready. Until it comes down that things have to be eaten, then that will be like our actual dinner <laughs> instead of lunches. But I'm pretty confident it's all going to go because I didn't buy a ridiculous amount of ingredients. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's going to be the chicken. But anyways, back with the nachos. I got corn on the cob, so I'm just going to take the corn, corn, put kernels off. Um, so we're going to top it with some corn. I'm going to make like a salsa, so I'm going to dice up, de-seed, like take out, scoop out the tomatoes. Um, dice it up, put salt on it, and then salt's going to release its moisture. But then that's the moisture that we would want to make it a little bit saucy. But it's like a raw salsa. Um, so we're going to do the tomatoes, the red onion, some lime juice, salt, pepper, garlic, powder. Chilies. I've got homegrown chili flakes still from my parents' garden. I'll add a little bit of that to it as well. So yeah, we'll have the chips, the chicken, the corn, the salsa, the cheese. Have cheese all amongst it all. We're going to have it in the smoker. Um, we're going to have a very light smoke. Um, but we just like to enjoy time outside. And although it'll be late and pitch black, it will just be nice. We'll put it on. I'm probably going to go in. It's just to heat up the stuff and really melt the cheese. Um, and then that's when I water the grass and all that stuff. Well, Nick will water the grass. I don't actually... Well, I do water it, but that's... The grass is his thing. Um... And then when it comes out, when it comes out, we'll go quickly do this now. We'll get some coriander from the garden. So we'll harvest that now. Um, and we got uh, sour cream to go on it. But let's go get some coriander quickly. So what I'm going to do is because I like the stems as well. I'll just put it on here actually. Smells so good. So I don't want to trim absolutely everything, but just enough so this also will keep like keep growing. It's just like the baby spinach. You pick it and then it just takes off crazy. 
Oh, the smell. They really smell so good, so we've got a handful of fresh coriander. I don't even need to, oops, now I'm dropping it. I don't even need to put it up to my face and I can tell that it smells really good. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Wow, you can really see how much fuller those trees are from back here. Um, yeah, we're gonna take this inside. Like I said, we'll just do the nachos. Um, we'll probably we'll do that in a video as well if you're interested. It is simple, it's just laying ingredients that we have or ingredients that you like. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to sprinkle our homegrown Korean on top. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.